In this video, we'll download and review the Benchtop Pro Reference Spoilboard project. As you might imagine, the first step is to download the project files. The links to these are found in the video description. For this video, we'll focus on the Fusion 360 design file. For the second step, let's open the Fusion 360 design file and start to understand the parameters that drive its design. I'll start by selecting File and New Design from File, selecting the file I just downloaded. I can save this design to my Fusion 360 design cloud and give it a name. I'll call it My Benchtop Pro Spoilboard. Parameters like board width, length, thickness, and work holding features are driven by parameters and do not need to be directly modeled. For example, we can go to Modify, Change Parameters, Board Thickness, and update this value to instantly change the model. Going from 3 quarters to half inch is just one click away. Now that I'm happy with the model, I can switch to the CAM workspace. Let's review some of the configurations here. I'll go to the project browser and edit the setup container for the following operations. From here we can review the work origin and note that it's in the back left hand corner of the workpiece. The workpiece is set to just over 3 quarters of an inch, which should allow our tool to poke through and make clean cuts. Though this will require us to have an additional spoil board temporarily below this one as we machine it. Alternatively, we could set this to exactly 0.75 or a little bit less and use a hand drill to finish the features. Let's take a look at the first 2D pocket operation. Here we're using a quarter inch flat end mill to create the mounting features. I'll check the spindle speed as well as the various feed rates. From the geometry tab, we can see that we've selected all 12 of the mounting features. The second 2D pocket operation is responsible for creating the work holding features. Again using the quarter inch flat end mill and with similar feeds and speeds. And finally the surfacing operation. Again using a quarter inch flat end mill will produce a square and level surface. Now I'll create my G-code. I'll go to post process, select CNC router parts as the machine, and save my G-code to my USB key. I'll save the two pocket operations as one file and the surfacing face operation separately. This will allow me to run one and then mount the board and then run surfacing potentially multiple times in the future as I need to resurface. In part two, I'll use the G-code I generated here to create the spoil board. Go to cncrouterparts.com for more information on the machine that we used in this video. In this video, we used a Benchtop Pro CNC machine kit with the 4-axis digital plug-and-play NEMA 23 electronics.